Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox, and today in Build Box Foil and Tip, we are going over folders. I always known about folders, but didn't discover the power of them until last week. So, in the newest update, there's folders, and they just help with organization on another level that's never been seen in Build Box before because Build Box didn't have folders, and now they do. First thing about folders, and this is super important, let me show you. If you have a world, or you know what, let me save it. If you have a world with folders, do not copy that world, do not duplicate it. It will crash Build Box. They may fix this later but right now it crashes it when you take a world now I have a template working on like a maze game idea I don't know the world template has no folders once I start creating that world or that scene then I go folders go gorgeous folders here there lights enemies object characters checkpoints platforms paths folders it just helps with organization like you don't even know but just to show you here this has one folder let's go ahead and call this like enemy folder go ahead and put these red ball so like bam hold that command select and go ahead and put them in this folder Okay, remember I just saved, so if I take this template and I copy it, and it, okay, it didn't crash. So this, this, this world has folders, characters, walls, and then I just have a couple folders that I'll eventually do something with. Take this folder, take it, copy it, crash it. So just make sure you, if you're going to copy a world with a folder, to save it, ignore. Let's jump into this one. Organization. Having all these different items in one place helps you keep track of where everything is. So this world has lights, enemies, hat, you know, just try to select an enemy over here like it's, it's not easy like, by grouping it all together you can actually just hide the path and see now you can see the enemy now if I want to click on the enemy it looks like the lights are getting in my way so I can actually select on the light I'm trying to move this block but I'll uh, see I have the checkpoints here which is the start finish I can lock things in place folders help you organize all the different objects that are moving around when you need to edit them focus them then you can keep it there and check this out so if I wanted to add more enemies this is enemies let's go ahead and change this name to enemies now what's cool is this enemy is already in a folder so if I copy him he will actually stay in that folder and so then later if I need to edit the light but the enemies are getting in my way I can hide the enemies this just offers a faster solution to focus on whatever place you're at at the moment and to keep things out of your way so this is a huge benefit of organization likewise I can go in here and lock things down and hide them so if I also lock down up in, these are the walls so I'm gonna lock down the walls now I can just go ahead oh, and lock down the checkpoints so now I can just straight select on the enemies that I just created without any interaction interference and delete them so that's like the power of organization and so copying and pasting inside the folders hide and lock different objects and actions and when it comes to organization here's a cool trick that I recently discovered if you need to organize your items but you have a lot of objects and you let's say you just start making folders you're like Al this is great I love folders too now show me how to make folders I, all I want is folders but I have so many things you have so many things how, how look at this how do you start organizing when you have one folder and nothing nothing organized well let me show you secret little trick that I discovered let me go ahead and make two separate folders well, you know what? let's just go ahead and make three folders show you how it's done a checkpoint oh this one should be oh, okay, well, checkpoint up here checkpoint character my character is a little sophisticated because he's got a character bullet hovering around him wall and I think I need one more so we got checkpoint character no oh, character wall enemy we need enemy okay so as you can see like what if this was all confusing what if the enemy you know worst case scenario enemy the enemy is within here and like going in and selecting all of these one at a time could be a pain. You can select these. Yeah, so you can select all of these. Press command. Select these two enemies. But now you're not sure if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But here you can only see three. So there's a little trick. What you do is you grab one of the items on the left and you click and hold and then you'll see a green line and then you let go. And what this will do is, is it will group all the items that you have just selected and put them all together. So now that I know all these are here, I can go ahead and grab, select, and move them in my enemy folder amazing so likewise here I'll just select all these characters and here you can see that characters highlighted but the character is the only one that's highlighted but I also have objects around the character that I want in the character folder so I'm gonna go ahead and select the character wait for that green line and then let go and there you have all the character bullets this is great because sometimes there'll be an extra copy if you have an extra copy you're gonna want to make sure you delete it um, I have some scenarios we go ahead and take the character and move them into the character folder move that same thing with the start and finish so even if one item is already in the folder and the others are not that's not a problem you go ahead and select over the folder and then boom and the cool thing is so I also have all these walls these are not only individual each block has two objects so when selecting all of them all I need to do is go over here lock character lock enemy lock checkpoints and that's everything on the screen so I can go ahead and select everything and then let's go ahead and drag it into that folder so the, so the select and drag option that I just showed you is also great to find out if you have multiple objects stacked on top of each other so let me show you an example of that 
go ahead and do this. All right, so here I'm gonna grab this. This has two objects, but here you only see one, so I just move it up, and now you see two. I'm gonna take these two, and I'm gonna copy. I'm just gonna put it down here. Yay, it looks like it got copied into the, okay, so cool. So here you can see that there's two objects. Now, if I go like this, I've just, on purpose, duplicated the object on top of itself multiple times. I did this on purpose, but I have found that I've actually done this on accident many times. So when selecting the object, and when you select it many times, you don't know what's going on. You don't know where everything is. You're not sure. So here I'm just taking some of these objects and I'm literally putting in different folders for an example. So now I have this object, which should only have two objects, but it has more than two. And here I can see two, four, six, seven. But what if there's more? What if something is in the folder and I don't know about it? So you can take the object and you can just grab, left click, and when you see that green line, let go. And this is a great way to see if there's multiple um, objects and then from here you can go ahead and you know I need one blue and one black and I'm gonna left click over here click here command copy I'm gonna select over everything delete and paste and now I have four which should only be two that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and delete and now it's only two so this is a great trick uh, select and drag trick select, select the items and you drag the left hand column super useful and I use it all the time hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching